hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my go-to makeup look i've been wearing this exact same look for the past maybe four or five days i haven't been posting it on any social media so you guys don't even know that i've been wearing it for the past four or five days but this is the exact makeup look the eyeshadows kind of changed but the same colors i've been using the same so keep that in mind i do say that throughout the video that just use a color that's similar because this palette that I'm using is actually limited edition. This has been my favorite go-to makeup look so I'm excited to share it with you guys. If you would like to learn how to get this look then just keep on watching. I'm going to start with the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. And this has a bit of SPF in it so this is good for daytime underneath your makeup. For foundation, I've been using the Amon Luxury Concealing Foundation. Mine is in the shade Clay 2. This is Clay 1. So for all over face color, I've been using Clay 2. I will pump a few on the back of my hand and then I dot it onto my face just to get it everywhere. And this foundation is a half of something, not my shade. I think it's the undertone that's a little off from being my exact skin tone, but it's close enough to where I kind of just bring it down onto my neck and push it back into my hairline in order to get it to look like it matches all the way. So then once I get that down, I just blend it all over. And you can see from me blending it in that it's not my skin tone, but this is what I have been using. I probably should be using clay one instead for an all over color, but I've been using this one. So I'm pushing it kind of into my hairline to blend it and I'm applying it on my lips just as a base for the lip color that I'm going to be putting on later. And then I kind of bring the foundation down to my neck to blend it even more. I usually don't do this with my foundations because my foundations usually match completely but for this one I do have to bring it down and then to highlight and conceal so I just put a few on the back of my hand of this one which again I probably should be using this one for an all over face color And then I take whatever's left over and just put it underneath where my contour is. All right, and then I go in with my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder and I just go in with my Beauty Blender and then I kind of look up so like this so I don't set the creases. Sometimes I apply a bit too much, but my goal is to apply enough to just be able to press it into my skin and not have to dust away any powder. But sometimes I end up having to dust it away because I get too much of the powder to set. So try to get a little bit at a time, but usually when I'm getting ready for school, like I am today, I'm moving a little fast. And then I set my upper lip area because that's one of the, and around my nose, those are one of the areas that I do get oily. And I stopped setting my smile lines. So you guys that on snapchat that i'm giving that a break then i go in with my makeup forever pro finish powder you guys know this is my powder which i dropped it and it cracked in two places but the powder didn't break i was like oh wow so then i'm just gonna take this and i'm going to set everywhere else like where my foundation is and i'm gonna get my upper lip a bit just so it isn't ashy then I want to set my neck as well because I did apply foundation. So if you do apply foundation on your neck, just set it so it has less of a chance for it to transfer. But it still might transfer, <laughs> but it just gives it a less of a chance. All right. So once I've gotten that, I will go in with my bronzer. And today I'm using the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer with my Sigma F23 brush. And this gives like that really great contour because the brush is so dense. And it sits right where it needs to sit. And then I'm going to go right here, right there on my forehead, and then a little bit on my chin. Next up we have highlights and I am of course using the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion with my Sigma High Cheek Pone Highlight Brush. You can tell that I'm rushing because I'm half looking at the camera, I'm sorry y'all. And so I'm going to apply a bit of this. 
I'm blending as well when I'm applying this highlight. So I'm kind of going in circular motions to blend it. And then I'm going to go on my nose. I am sweating. Like, this is crazy. So I'm going to go a little bit on my nose and on the bridge of my nose. And then just a touch on my upper lip. That's more than a touch. <laughs> okay, then I'm going to do my brows. I misplaced my brow pencil a few days ago. So here I am looking for it again. Give me a second. Okay, I still can't find it, but I couldn't find even my brow pencil nor my brow powder. So I found my brow powder. So I'm going to use that today. I usually don't just use this alone. So we're going to see. And then, so next I will do eyeshadow after I get done with my brows. Sorry, I did them off camera. <laughs> I am using the Makeup by Mario Master Palette. This was limited edition, but these colors are easily found in most of other palettes and single eyeshadows from Anastasia. Beverly Hills. Isabel I'm going to use as my transition color and I didn't use eyeshadow primer or anything because what happens is when I'm rushing like this I usually will still make time to add a bit of concealer but the past few days I just been doing it with the foundation that I have on my eyelids without setting it and it's been fine. All right, once I get that down, I'm going to then go in with this shade right here and I'm going to switch brushes. I want it to be a bit more confined to the outer corner of my eye. And so I'm just going to start this in the outer corner, build it up to where it's the most intense in the outer corner. And then I'm going to blend it into the crease. Lower not all the way up like we did the first shade. I think this was the best palette that came out in 2016. I mean, the formula, the color selection, everything. It did come back a few times before it went away forever. If you got a chance to get it, lucky you and then for the lid shade you can go in with this one this one this one this one or this one for this look <laughs> but i think i'm just gonna go in with this one but any of those shimmer eyeshadows would definitely do for the kind of look that i'm going for just a very simple champagne bronze kind of eyeshadow look i only use three eyeshadows so it's very easy to recreate even if you don't have this palette and it's a very pretty go-to eye look because it doesn't involve a lot of work yet it looks like you put in a lot of work for your eyeshadow now i don't want to hear nobody saying i can't i ain't got time for all that yes you do you got time for it it's three eyeshadows it's all in the placement of the eyeshadow it makes it look nice if you place that first transition color down and then you deepen it up in the crease with a darker shade and then you put on a shimmer shade it's easy don't kid yourself into thinking that you can't do an eye look like this just practice practice makes perfect and i'm just going to blend that same dark shade just to get rid of the harsh lines on the end and then guess what you're done i don't do anything on the lower lash line i haven't been I just apply mascara, which is my next step. I'm applying Benefit Their Real Mascara, and I'm applying this to the upper lash line and the lower lash line. And by applying mascara on the lower lash line, you don't really need eyeshadow. You can use the same two eyeshadows that you use in the crease if you want a more dramatic look. Now that's a way to take this eyeshadow look up a notch if you're headed out to a party or something. Then my lip color has been extremely simple. I've been using Cork Lip Liner from MAC. I'm gonna bring in the lip liner a little bit from the edges. And then right on top, I'm using MAC Oyster Girl Lip Glass. And I make sure to blend the lip gloss into the lip liner. And that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to keep yourself updated on my new videos. And I promise I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.